a bunch of cool stuff he does. First play is a give to McCaffrey, and there was an opening there. They had he broken one more tackle, who knows? It could have gone a long way. Brought down by Dax Hill. And that's going to create issues in these heavy personnel. They gave it to use check, and he is stuffed. Because they don't ever want to take him out, him and Greenlaw together at linebacker. Second and three. Fake into the line, and the pass is caught. Across the 34, a Cincinnati first down. Randy Gregory comes into that defensive front for San Francisco. And from the pocket, Burrow now stepping back, trying to find some breathing room, and it's still alive as he throws, and it's caught by Higgins. What a sensational play by Joe Burrow, and a catch by Higgins, and a marker is down. Gene back in the studio, first drive for Cincinnati, and they're moving. Already picking up a couple of first downs as Chase has another one with that catch. A nice block by Taylor Boyd. 49ers trying to recover after two straight losses. After five opening wins, and here's Burroughs throw down the middle. And again, it's Chase, and they're looking like on this opening drive, the Cincinnati we've seen late in the season the last two years. Here's a first and ten from the 31. And there is Mixon taken off and striding down to the 10-yard line as Joe Mixon showed explosion with that carry. Second and six. They have one rushing touchdown all season long. Going to go up top here. Burrow to the end zone. He's there. And it is caught for the touchdown. Tyler Boyd with the catch from seven yards out. Because he gets to use his full skill set, which is really special. Here's Purdy. First possession for the 49ers with three running plays and out. And now the pass play to McCaffrey for a gain of 13. I think most assumed it would be Darnold most of the week. Third and eight. Here's Purdy. He's going to take off. Runs past Hill and makes a big gain out of it. And a San Francisco first. How quickly he came back for the concussion. How quickly he came back from elbow surgery back in March. Here he's in trouble. It's being chased. He's going to get rid of it. He's got an open receiver. It's Ayuk. Out of bounds near the 12-yard line. Here's the give. Tying the record. Yes, he does. Touchdown, Christian McCaffrey. The Jets and Giants, which in weather, they had 15 punts in the first half today. We got matching touchdowns here on the last possession for each side as Travion Williams has crossed the 30 and finally dragged down. What a beautiful run back at about the 43-yard line by Jordan Mason. His Burrow again coming from under center. He's going to dump it off. Mixon, nice breaking of a tackle, and he's got 12 for a first. I'm shocked that he only really got one way to go. Second and four. And look at that little play for a first down. That is Tyler Boyd. First and 10, San Francisco 35. Open in the middle, it's Boyd again. And he fights for a couple of extra yards. Well done. That was the longest catch of the season for Boyd. It went for 22. Here's a handoff. And again, an explosion down to the two-yard line as Mixon looking very fast here today. Rare team that can turn it on like this when they get healthy. First and goal, there was movement. They're playing it out. Here's trying to flag it down. Out. Trying to. <laughs> kind of sleepwalking through it. And it's caught for a touchdown. That, that's a touchdown if they didn't blow a whistle, right? Offside. He almost throws you off when he's out there. Here's a third and six after a loss of four. Purdy stays in the pocket. And it's knocked down by Logan Wilson. From beyond the 28. There's Chase. He's going to figure it out. Bounces off of two tackles with a marker coming out. But this is going to be really hard for them to stop Cincinnati on this one. You got Mixon at the top. And this Burrow's just going to take off. He saw that opening and he dives for the first down. A third and nine conversion. There's the play action. And there he goes back to Irv Smith. And that's the longest catch of the season by one of their tight ends. Here's a third and seven. Burrow, again, bodies around him, and he is swarmed under at the 53. Eric Armstead got to him over 80%.
Here's from 50, and it's wide right. He was 17 for 21 from 50 plus coming in. Taken over at the 40 after the missed field goal. Purdy plays out the fake, and that leaves a wide open IU for a big gain. He already had a 31 yard catch. 12th catch for over 20 yards. That one for 23. And on first and 10. Purdy still has it. Being chased by Sam Hubbard. Turns the corner for another nice gain. Second and one. And now the give for the first down. It's McCaffrey. Because we're always talking about what he does. Here's third and 14. Every time we have their game. Look at Purdy. Nice little wiggle. They wrap him up around the neck. As Battle is the one who finished it. After 11, missed the first kick last week before making a 55-yarder, and this one from 36 is good. Makes him 12 for 15 on the season. You know that eight minutes we call it before at the end of the first half and the four to start the second determines a lot of the outcomes in games. It's Mixon for 12 yards. You saw that stat. They give up a lot of points at the end of the first half. That is surprising, but that's usually because they have a lead. <laughs> The pass to the sideline, and it's a catch by Higgins, his third of the game. Second and one. They didn't give Higgins the spot he wanted, but they come back to him. We got another catch. And look at that. They've got him wrapped up high and low. Third, they have zero timeouts there. Yeah, they got there. It looks like there's three. They're all good. They got three. <laughs> As the catch is made Kinda by looks Chase. looks like they got zero, but that's yeah. three with the... I would still take my time right here when you got three timeouts. Here's Burrow. Down the middle, and boy, threads it. That's a tough matchup for anyone. With 16 straight completions, make it 17. A personal best as Chase is stopped about a yard short by Greenlaw of the first down. From the 11, they're a yard out from a first. They got 43 seconds to play with. Here's Burrow. Second option, throws. Mixon has it. And Burrow now has a personal best 18 consecutive, as well as a first and goal to go. Quick toss. It's Irv Smith. Ball came out at the end. Ball came out. This is always tough. What are they going to do, the officials? They stop on the clock. They're giving it to them. I'm hearing that little tweet. I didn't know if it was or not, Jim. It was a little faint for me. Down the field. What a play to Kittle at the 40-yard line. Ball's got to come out quick. We call it a down, down. Get the ball to somebody fast. Yep, you're back. And then down, down, right at the 45. Go down right there, Christian. Go down. Now it's get up and be awfully close. Like be close. I don't know. Second and nine. Stepping up in the pocket. He's going to run with it. Burrow's got the first down and takes on more yardage. Boy, he is now running fearlessly. Now third and 16. Underneath they go. Chase gets it into field goal range. From 56. Look at that beauty. I'm back. You're back. It's good. But all of a sudden, boom, that picks up and then pretty three interceptions the last two weeks. Second and 18 down the field. Oh, that was threaded. There's Kittle all the way to the 50. The other issue, of course, no Samuel last week. No Trent Williams again this week. Hendrickson, who was injured in that first half, returned. He's back out there again on this play. Third down and incomplete. Right through the hands of Kittle. Watch the safety. If he, if he stays in there, the ball's coming out there. Going to set up a screen. In traffic and tackled down about two yards short. Greenlaw got him by the ankles. Warner was on him as well. And I would start to throw the ball on first down. I think you have the ability here. Well, there's your little play action. There it is down the field, and it works. Romo Stradamos. 100%. There's so many cool stories. Another play action. Well done. Three straight, Tony, and it goes to Kittle. Kittle going down the sideline. And now they got some energy on this series off these three play action passes. You get something. Oh, oh they hand it off instead to use check. How about that little trickery? On a wing to the right. Second and six. Stop for Kittle here. Pretty. 
the takeoff. Got a first down inside the 10. And avoids the contact of a flying in. Logan Wilson has got a first and goal. Purdy still has it. Oh, it's oh. taken away from him by Pratt. We'll see what the marker results in. That's going to be offensive alignment downfield. I think that's going to be an interception. And wow, what a mistake by Purdy. Niners are fortunate that didn't go 90 yards. Could, could have definitely gone the distance. As Burrow goes up top. Open as Chase delivers. A, that is Higgins. I beg your pardon. Higgins with a nice catch. Being in consideration of being able to at least produce a field goal in this drive and go up two scores. Big play, third and seven. Chase. Ball came out. Ball ends up in the hands of Gibson. And now the ball again fumbled and picked up by Lenore before he is shoved out of bounds. Here's Purdy on first down. He's oh. intercepted. Back to back throws. He's intercepted by Wilson, all time at home. Purdy coming into this game had only thrown one interception in his career leading up to that gym. Now here they are on first and 10 from the 17. Wide open, touchdown! Jamar Chase, oh, what a flip! You say this has got to be at an all-time high in his young career right now. Yeah, and you see a lot. We know he's poised and he's going to be fine. He completes one for about eight. Now they're down to the four line because they know they got to throw. Here's Purdy stepping away from pressure and connects. Ayuk with another catch. Trent Williams, third and five. Down the middle. Got the first and more with Ayuk. You don't have to be crazy risky. If it's not there, live to fight on the next one. Purdy trying to live for the next one from... 10 yards behind a line of scrimmage. Lofts it. Oh, there's Kittle. The catch this time for the first down. That was the area you could get these guys. The tight end position. Purdy sliding, looking. Back across the body again. And who else but Christian McCaffrey with the touchdown grab. 12 up on the Chiefs, and it's loud in here now, Tony. Cool. Se second and seven. And that's Irwin. Back-to-back -back plays. They go to him. And look at him weave through the secondary up to about the 47. Here's Burrow out of the gun. Over and up. Above they go and chase. Second and six. Burrow. Feels it coming. Pressure. And able to dive up to about the 20 yard. Second and one. Extra lineman is playing tight end position four. <laughs> Burrow keeps it and gets the first. He's outstanding. He was with me in Dallas. They have an outstanding coach there. And look, they clear the way for Mixon and perhaps the knockout punch. And that ball is still spinning. It's not over yet, like you just said. You yep. said you're likely to see San Francisco tie this up. Is that what you I, I said that perhaps is the knockout punch. I didn't want to say it was because they moved it down the field rather rapidly the last time they had it. There is a quick 15 to Kittle. And it's been an unbelievable back and forth game. Second and two. And again, Kittle, three straight plays. Try and get one more off before the two minute. They've never had a penalty free game, and they got within two minutes of having one. So pretty. Is chased down and the ball is out and recovered by Hill. Hendricks enforced it. The strip sack. And now this game is over. Game concludes at 31 17. Cincinnati with a third straight victory. Niners suffered a third consecutive loss.